This week, chicken farmers turn vegan. Snoop Dogg spent all day driving a vegan food truck. This 15-year-old vegan Game of Thrones star is the hero we all need. And find out which comedian announced he is going vegan. All that and more on Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News. Cow and chicken farmers switch to growing mushrooms. Farmers Jennifer and Rodney Barrett raised chickens and cows on their Arkansas farm for 18 years before a realization struck them. Faced with conflicting feelings over the ethics of killing animals, the couple left the family business behind to start their careers as vegan mushroom farmers. Jennifer told the couple's story in a post on Free From Harm, a platform that advocates for the fair treatment of all animals. In 2011, Rodney was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis while Jennifer battled with arthritis, depression, and hypertension. Jennifer wrote, I started working out and learning more about nutrition. I started to dig and question everything as my body responded to treating it better. In 2016, the couple adopted a three-week vegan diet program. Rodney's colitis went into remission, and the diet sparked a change in the couple's conscience. I started to see the chickens differently, Jenny said. I'd never really looked at them as individuals before, but my heart started to break when I would see their terror and suffering. Suddenly, I saw them as birds, not products. With the help of the Rancher Advocacy Program, a support system launched by the Texas-based Rowdy Girl Sanctuary, the couple was able to begin making the transition toward mushroom farming. The chicken coops will now be used as mushroom houses. Fast food chain Duncan may be the next big milestone for vegan meat brand Beyond Meat. According to Yahoo Finance, the fast food donut and sandwich chain is in talks to partner with a major vegan meat brand. Duncan CEO David Hoffman declined to comment on who that partner would be, but Yahoo reports he suggested the protein could take the form of sausage crumbles atop Duncan's new millennial-friendly egg bowls. Beyond Meat offers several vegan sausage options presently including a breakfast-style sausage patty that is currently in Canadian fast food chain A&W. The company also makes vegan beef crumbles that are being served at Del Taco across the U.S. Yahoo continues. It's not surprising that Duncan is about to go this route. Hoffman has moved quickly since taking over as CEO in 2018 to modernize the Duncan brand. That has included dropping the word donut from the company's new stores, rolling out affordable espresso beverages, and more recently, releasing egg bowls. Coming up, vegan chicken burgers are coming to KFC. Snoop Dogg just spent all day driving a vegan food truck. In the wake of Beyond Meat's successful IPO launch, where stocks rose 163% in value on its first day public, the rapper tweeted a shout out to the brand along with a video of him driving the official Beyond truck. What up, though? This is Big Snoop Dogg, and I want y'all to check out my new ride. That Beyond Meat truck? In 2019, we're doing big things, baby. Shout out to Beyond Meat for their IPO today, the star wrote. You can get a taste of the future of protein tomorrow for free. Beyond Day occurred last Friday on May 3rd. It was an unofficial day of celebration for the brand, and there were several promotions at restaurant chains that carry the Beyond Meat patty. Beyond Meat is grateful for the support of celebrities who believe in the product. The brand wrote, We are fortunate to have partnered with celebrities such as Tia Blanco, Leonardo DiCaprio, Snoop Dogg, Kyrie Irving, DeAndre Hopkins and DeAndre Jordan, who share our core values. Having a plant-based food that is mashed together with a bunch of protein that ultimately will help my body flourish. Also, the, the effect that it has on not just you know, them, but this world. Their organic involvement and interest are helpful to promoting our overall mission. Vegan chicken burgers are coming to KFC. Its UK development kitchen is working on the product, and BBC One host Nisha Katona got to taste test the new sandwich. She tweeted, I was the first member of the public to taste the new vegan chicken burger. This to me is actually living the dream. When a Twitter follower asked how it tasted, Katona responded, Oh my word, brilliant product. They're still working on it, but truly great start. But the burgers aren't the chain's first vegan options. KFC Canada locations currently offer two vegan chicken sandwiches, an original and a spicy version. Last year, KFC's Vietnam locations also added two vegan options, a chicken-style sandwich and a rice bowl. The brand is overhauling its menu as consumers shift toward more plant-based options. Coming up, this comedian went vegan. Bella Ramsey, the 15-year-old star who plays Leanna Mormont in HBO's hit fantasy series Game of Thrones, is a proud vegan. As Game of Thrones fans witnessed in the Battle of Winterfell episode, Ramsey's character may be young and small, 
but she is also strong, resilient, and brave. As The Telegraph reports, Lady Mormont not only managed to be completely, superbly badass, but spawned many a meme in a handful of significant scenes. But what about Ramsay herself? From her social media, it seems that the young star is a warrior in her own right, speaking out for the animals and the planet. Her Twitter and Instagram posts include support for young vegan environmental activist Greta Thunberg, who has been leading school strikes for climate change. According to Ramsay, Thunberg's actions make her the living embodiment of Leanna Mormont. She recently posted on Instagram, Big respect to you. I stand with you. Comedian, actor, and producer Kevin Hart is the latest celebrity to say he's adopting a vegan diet. In a video posted to his Instagram story, Hart told his fans that while he already eats healthy, he's taking it up a notch and will be going vegan for a while. The fitness enthusiast told his followers, I'm going to start eating better. I already eat good, but now I'm going to get on this plant-based food kick. Many celebrities have seen the benefit of adopting a vegan diet, including music judge Simon Cowell and Black Eyed Peas frontman Will I Am. Comedian and producer Kevin Smith went vegan after suffering a heart attack in 2018, and he is now a huge animal advocate. Suddenly you find yourself like less about like, you know, oh, my heart, this is about my health, and more about like, oh, I like that I'm this person. I like what it stands for. I like that it's compassionate. I was a little kid that loved the shit out of animals. That's it for today. Which story of the week are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. If you haven't yet, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News.